This is a quick tutorial on how to use the Gmail app on your iPhone or iPad. In case you don't want to use the standard mail app and you also want to get the best possible functionality out of the Google Apps domain. That is the Gmail app. The icon for the iPad, the iPhone is virtually identical to the icon you'll see on your desktop if you're using you know, Chrome when you're in the Google Apps window. One of the reasons we recommend using this Gmail app for your Scarsdale email instead of the native mail app is that if you use the Gmail app on your iPhone or iPad and you click on a link, it will keep you within the Google Apps environment, meaning you can open up a link that somebody sends you in Google Docs, or you can open up in Chrome, or you can open up in Sheets. So using the Gmail app to access your scarsdaleschools.org email will help keep you fully and completely within the Google Apps environment. I already have the Gmail app for my personal Gmail account, as I'm sure many of you may as well. So up there in the top left, you will notice I have my avatar for my personal Gmail account. And then down here, I have a couple of other accounts. I have multiple Gmail accounts, as others might as well. The key is down here at the very bottom, the little gear. That's what you're going to want to tap on. If you've already set up multiple Gmail accounts, you're familiar with the settings or the screen behind the gear. And what you're just going to do is you're going to add another account. When you come to this screen to add an account, whether it's your first or third or fourth, it's a standard Google sign-in screen. So you're just going to put in your scarsdaleschools.org email address, your password. You're going to sign in as if you were signing into any Google page with your Scarsdale credentials. And now once you sign in, it's that simple. There I am. I've added a fourth account to my Gmail app on my iPad. What's really nice too is you can actually turn these on or off. So if you do have other ones that you check more frequently than others, you don't want to see them or you don't want to be distracted by them, you can actually turn them off so you don't see them without actually signing out of them. Once I get out of that screen, you'll now see that this is my Scratchable Schools avatar. What I've done is I've tried to give myself different headshots or different images to represent my different Google accounts, be them the personal Google accounts or my professional Google accounts. And now I have all of my emails from Scarsdale Schools inside the Gmail account. I can compose a message. I have my files and folders are gonna be under this little drop down arrow and I have full access. And that's it. And that is how you access your Scarsdale email now that we have moved to Gmail using the Gmail app on your iPhone or iPad. And for more tutorials, you can check out the scarsdaleschools.org page. Thank you.